Hey there, how's it going? It's Shannon Roberts. I have a quick thought to share with you. It's not necessarily a word, but uh, it's just a thought and just some encouragement for you today. My prayer for you and all of us is to be so intimately connected to the Lord that we hear His voice every day, all day, right? But I also want to pray that you know that you know that you know God's call purpose and plan for your life. This is something that didn't come together for me until recently. Actually, it's been the past couple of years. It was bit by bit, piece by piece. So I fully surrendered my life to the Lord back in 2008-ish, 2009, so 10, 11 years ago. But I am just now getting to this place nine, 10 years later where I know God's call in my life. He gave me a piece a few years ago. I'm called to meet women on their faith journey to becoming whole in spirit, soul, and body. And then I'm to support, encourage, and edify them. And so that's where it started with support, encouragement, edification. And yes, that was a result of not having those very elements in my own life and God positioning me to be that for others. He then evolved that early last year after the first Rise Up commitment here in my community, he added to meet women on their faith journey to becoming whole in spirit, soul, and body through support, edification, and encouragement. And he added to that, I am called to teach, encourage, and facilitate healing. So I'm not the healer, he's the healer. It's just these hands that he leads me to lay on folks if that's something that he needs me to do, to teach his word and share. The word says, go into all the earth and teach. It says, go and make disciples. It says to go. And so that's what he's been having me do. And then encourage again, just encourage. So I didn't know what that component looked like for a while. And then mid last year, he began to speak to my heart that that included um, prophetic and just learning what this prophetic is and more into the rise up curriculum and just getting gals connected to the Holy Spirit of the Lord and to um, get connected to the Word themselves, not devotional, but the Bible, the Word of God themselves, and teaching in that, and then just praying for gals as He led me to. So, knowing this, knowing these things, He was speaking this to my heart a while back, um, just confirming and reaffirming, Shannon, my call, my plan, my purpose for you is to meet women where they are on their faith journey to becoming whole in spirit, soul, and body. To teach, encourage, and facilitate some level of healing. Teaching to, through the commitment curriculum. Um, encouraging through the prophetic and just sharing positive thoughts and words and vibes and whatever he puts on my heart to share in all honesty. And then just being positioned in person, in the physical form, in um, society, and in this community to, to facilitate healing. And then he's added this element of breakthrough and just to help women, um, to experience breakthrough in their walk with the Lord, experience breakthrough in their marriage or with their children. And so why is this important? Why are you talking about this, Shannon? Well, because if you are part of beyond, you know that the nucleus, the center of all is supposed to be God, loving him, listening to his Holy Spirit, getting connected through his word and prayer. And if we're not experiencing that love, if we're not experiencing that, that, um, just expansive love for the Lord, then I want to encourage us to press in more and perhaps ask for the baptism of the Holy Spirit. That's something we talk about. But after that is a calling. And that high calling that we each have, we all have a unique high calling from the Lord. And so when we know that we know that we know what God has for us, nothing can come against what he has. It may try. We may be tempted to get derailed. We may derail ourselves. But at the end of the day, or even at the beginning of the day, maybe if we rise up early to get into the word of the Lord in prayer, we will fight, fight like women warriors of God for what God has called us to do. No longer will it be so easy to get entangled by deception or by folks' opinions or things of the past or our own limiting beliefs and our own um, self throttling thoughts. We will keep forging ahead. So when all hell breaks loose, for example, like it did in my life the past couple of weeks, 
things were going awry with my husband. I have an adult, soon to be adult child who is just really going through some learning pains right now and just maneuvering through those things all while trying to facilitate conversation with my youngest daughter who feels like these two over here are always and so at the end of the day I kept looking to that. This is what God has called me to. This is what he needs me to do. And I was able to just circle back to that. I was even able to stand firmly rooted in love and communicating that to a loved one that just doesn't get it, doesn't understand, doesn't want to. But the moment I was able to articulate confidently in Christ what God has called me to, it was as though defenses came down and this individual was like, you really do have something. There really is something. And I think that something, when we get a hold of it, is what people want, but they're also intimidated by it. So, no intimidation here. I want you to go after it. If you don't know God's call in your life, press in. Press into Him. Press into His love. Press into His word. Press into Him for all the more beyond that He has for you today and in the days, weeks, and months to come. We're almost in... Um, well, today's the first day of fall, so we have three months left of fall, and then, like, it's Christmas, and then it's 2020, y'all. I mean, it's 2020. I can't believe I just said y'all. Anyways, <laughs> I want to encourage us to press in and press on and understand what God's call for our lives is, because then there's nothing that's going to stop you. You will adjust that helmet. You will adjust that breastplate. You will make sure that belt is tight. You will make sure that shield of faith is out. That sword, which is the spoken word of God, is in your hand. And you are taking peace wherever you go. And you will be able to get up and do the things God is calling to you to, no matter how impossible it seems. So take care. God bless and be encouraged today.